My name is Cerberus and I am an oracle. You can ask me questions and I will respond. What secrets of the universe can I share with you today? Hi, it's Jim here and today we're going to have a look at the Sad Talker open source software and how you can use that to generate videos. I've been getting some feedback as teams begin to explore this software that they're confused at why it doesn't blink in the still mode and how to control the amount of head movement on the full motion video. So let's jump in. So the first one we have here is the full image with the still mode invoked. So it's going to be a still image and it's upscaled. So this is going to look pretty good. So when we play this, I want you to focus on the eyes. My name is Cerberus and I am an oracle. You can ask me questions and I will respond. What secrets of the universe can I share with you today? So it's definitely noticeable. The longer the video gets, the more awkward it is that there isn't a blink. So we definitely want to turn the blink on. Okay, now we're ready to look at what the videos look like out of the box for full, without still, full, and upscaled. We want to focus on the head movement and the smoothness and the accuracy of the head movement. My name is Cerberus and I am an oracle. You can ask me questions and I will respond. What secrets of the universe can I share with you today? So that's pretty awkward. There's definitely some phasing in the video and the head movement isn't natural. Now let's take a look at how we can fix it and what it looks like after we edit the code. My name is Cerberus and I am an oracle. You can ask me questions and I will respond. What secrets of the universe can I share with you today? My name is Cerberus and I am an oracle. You can ask me questions and I will respond. What secrets of the universe can I share with you today? As you can see, we've turned on the blinking in the still shot and we've dampened some of the head movement in the dynamic video shot. I hope you agree those are improvements. Let's look at the code and see how we did that. In order to change the settings to make the blinking enabled and to smooth out the head motion, you have to have the software installed locally. So if you're using the software out on the web at Hugging Faces, you click on this link for the GitHub code, and then just do a look up on how to install Sad Talker locally. There's many good videos on that, and we don't have time today to go through a full install. So after you get the software installed, you're going to see the same interface just running locally. So let's move over to Visual Studio Code and have a look at the programs. And we'll start with this Gradio interface. If you've installed a sad talker locally, you're going to have a sad talker directory. And in that sad talker directory, you're going to have a variety of files. There's two key files that drive the software. The first is app.py. That's this one here. App.py is going to set up the Gradio web interface. And what's important about this one is this line number four. It calls code from another program, from source, Gradio demo. So underneath sad talker, there is a subdirectory source, and this Gradio demo code is in there. And this is what drives the software. App.py creates the interface. Gradio underscore demo.py drives the software. What we're going to do is very quickly home in on what you need to change in order to let the software consider what we call driver videos. A driver video, an example video, for blinking and an example video for head movement. They don't need to be the same video. You could have another video where you like the head movement or maybe the head movement is dampened, small head movements versus the large ones in the default. This is our opportunity to influence the software by adding these two driver videos, one for eye blinks, one for the head pose. And we'll also talk about a key parameter that takes the eye blink and enables it on the still, the still video creation. The section of code, I have it outlined right here. Now I'm gonna put all this code in the show notes in my Git repo. And really all you need to do is either make this change yourself by pulling down this Gradio underscore demo file I'll put on the Git repo. And then you can cut and paste the code into your own Gradio underscore demo dot pi underneath this source subdirectory or you can download the one I have out there and just replace the one you have. So, you know, rename the one you have to old, download the new and replace it. Just go ahead and run the software as normal. 
And what this code does is it's going to put some print statements into your terminal session as the interface runs. As it creates the video, if you've created videos on your local install, no doubt you've kind of watched the terminal output to see how it works. I've added some print statements here to make sure you can see kind of the telemetry as it steps through this code. It's going to print out the working directory. It's going to ingest these two videos as reference file. Explicitly do the path like I've done. Just make sure you change this to be where your path is. When you're going to run this, I've chosen to put these two reference videos. I've named them reference eye blink and reference pose. I've put them right in this sad talker directory. You see them right here. If you right click on them, you can do copy path, right? And then you can paste that path in here. Just make sure you get the, uh, the quotes around it. But when you download this code, you're going to want to make sure that you update it to reflect where you're going to put your reference videos and that you match these names. Like if you have your reference videos for both head moving and eye blink, retitle them as such and line them up with the code. And then the other thing you want to do is we'll just scroll down here. This section here under the audio to this should be coefficient. I'm not sure why it's spelled that way. But anyway, th these are the default files from the install, but this is audio to coefficient. But make sure you get this last section also, because what's changed is this reference eye blink coefficient path. It used to have something that says equals none. You want to make sure that you don't have the none. That's that's how we get the eye blinking to occur in the still mode. So again, I've made that change. All you're going to have to do is go to the get repo, the show notes, go ahead and download this gradio underscore demo dot pi file and replace it in your sad talker source subdirectory. Go ahead and just save off the existing one, copy and paste the new one in and then go ahead and run your software and you're going to be able to cut those videos with a different head movement and with the eye blinking on both the still and of course on your full motion videos. You're going to want to play with that. You're going to want to experiment with different driver files for both the eye blink and the pose. It depends on your content. So use the link in the show notes, go to the GitHub, download this gradio underscore demo dot pi, make those changes. And then let's have a look one more time at how the videos come out after you've made those changes. My name is Cerberus and I am an Oracle. You can ask me questions and I will respond. What secrets of the universe can I share with you today? Remember, you want to download Gradio underscore demo dot pi. Clearly marked starting on line 120 is this section of code where we detail the pose videos and the ability to turn on the blink for the still videos, you want to copy this file over into your sad talker subdirectory underneath the source subdirectory in sad talker. You'll see the gradio.py. Just rename your old file and save it in case you want to go back to it. Copy this new gradio underscore demo.py in there and go ahead and run the software as normal. Let's also have a quick look at the terminal output when you run it. Hopefully I still got a session up here I can share with you that has it in it. Yeah, this will work. So when I show you this, what I'm sharing with you is how this telemetry works when you kick it off. Like this was me creating a video. It's going to do this spatial landmark detection. It starts up with the extraction. But here's that section where you're going to see the activation of the pose videos. It does do these print straight statements to tell you the working directory. It does also tell you where it's going to use the eye blink reference video, where it's going to get the reference pose video. Then you'll see it going and extracting some of the key data points from iBlink. You'll see it extract for key data points from the pose. Then it's just the normal output to create the video. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll like and subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one.